Hello, I'm Kevin Doyle and I play Joseph Molesley on Downton Abbey. That's right, he has a first name. Do you recall what happened last at Downton? If not, no problem, here's something fun to jog your memory. It's 1927 when a surprising letter arrives at Downton Abbey. What is it? The King and Queen are coming to stay. In two weeks time, King George V and Queen Mary will be visiting Downton Abbey during a royal tour. Short notice that puts everyone in a frenzied state. A royal luncheon, a parade and a dinner. I'm going to have to sit down. Upstairs, always practical Lady Mary worries about the expense of it all. Won't you help me? I feel I'm pushing a rock uphill. I'll be there in the morning, my lady. Don't you worry. You're a treasure, Carson. That's all there is to say. And when family matriarch, the Dowager Countess, learns that the Queen's lady-in-waiting is none other than Maud Bagshaw, an estranged relative whom she believes unjustly inherited the Brompton estate, rightfully due her son, Lord Grantham, well, she does what she does best, starts plotting to get the estate back. What could we do? Challenge the will. On what basis? Undue influence. But how could you know that and how would you prove it? We'd find a friendly judge. Friendly or corrupt? Whichever does the trick. The royal visit brings pomp and circumstance to Downton, as well as an unpleasant royal staff determined to remove Downton servants of all their duties. Saving the day, Anna and Bates have a masterful plan to rescue Downton's honor. Here's how it all goes down. Anna slips the chef some sleeping potion. Footman Andy locks the butler in his room. The rest of the royal staff is sent off on a wild goose chase. And the overjoyed Downton staff, including the extremely giddy royalist Mr. Molesley, step back into their roles and restore honor to the house. It is the Downton Abbey staff who are serving you this evening. You must give our compliments to Mrs. Patmore and all the staff. With pleasure, your majesty. Downstairs, Assistant cook Daisy wavers on her wedding date to Andy. So when the local plumber shows up looking like a cinema star, Andy breaks out in a jealous rage, almost ruining the royal visit. But good news, turns out Daisy likes that kind of passion in a man and agrees to finally set a date. Lady Edith, now married to Bertie Pelham, the Marquess of Hexham, no less, has wonderful news of her own. She's expecting her second child, hurrah! Finally, there's good news for Tom Branson as well who's instantly smitten with Maud Bagshaw's maid, Lucy Smith. I have such a feeling that you can understand what's going on inside my head. Turns out Lucy is not just a servant, but the illegitimate daughter of Maud Bagshaw. And it is she who will be inheriting the estate Violet's been trying to get her hands on. Meanwhile, having less fun at the ball is Lady Mary, struggling to find a reason to keep Downton going in this fast-changing modern world. Then her granny provides her with one. Violet is very sick and expects Mary to take over the reins. Our ancestors lived different lives from us and our descendants will live differently again, but Downton Abbey will be part of them. As Downton Abbey hurtles towards the 1930s, she marches into an uncertain time where old traditions may be set aside for the new. For the Crawleys and their servants, the future is hard to predict, but whatever obstacles or challenges they may face, as has been shown time and time again, they'll stand strong and proudly and face them together.